Hello, welcome back to this. Today we are practicing Fonda. This is the first time I'm practicing it. I'm playing what my instructor calls the round, which is the and then I'm sort of carving back from all of these to like carving out the parts that I want to emphasize. So these are all in ghost tones.
definitely make it easier to play. When I was playing uh, Junjuns in the Djembe Ensemble, um, you know, we had funky, we had funky parts in Djembe too. Um, and, but you wouldn't be playing all those ghost notes. You'd just be like, boom, 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 boom. And it's like this kind of spacious uh, part. And you just gotta have the beat inside or, um, you, I would have a bell a lot of the time that was playing like a ding 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 so something kind of fast to help you stay on track um, but my understanding is that djembes don't use ghost notes I mean I never saw people in the ensemble uh, being told to use ghost notes um, and it's definitely easier definitely easier okay let's figure out the second part of fanga I already forgot the first part. Bum, 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 bum. Let's see if I can play it. <laughs> I don't know what he, there's a lot of, there's a lot of bass in there. to figure out how my hands fit with the with my hand. play those the two tones because that's kind of like that's the part that's like on the beat for me set of bases and then the second set are by the same hand. She's not playing all the ghost notes.
extra little beat in there between it's like how to connect the part once it repeats. think it is. I can kind of like keep the beat going, but I can't do it with the right with the right hands. That's a touch, not a slap. It's a very funky part.
tone technique. Tones in Djembe land are, uh, they bounce. Uh, tones in Conga land do not bounce. Keep your hand down. Same with slaps. This is such a funky beat. trying to kind of think more closely about the round, but because I still don't have it, I don't have the rounding leads, it's exactly right. I mean, I can I can feel the where the rhythm is, and I, I think that if I lose the part, I should go back, right? The tones are the sort of like the thing that stays steady for me, um, and then figure out what's going on with the bases between them. It also, this is an easy way to help me remember how uh, how this part goes, because I know it starts with Sorry to anyone who really plays conga, I was playing it like, not right, it's just going wild, letting loose. Let's see if I can play that, that beat again.
I don't remember the first part though in Fongo. Let's go back. Boom, bum, ba, bum, boom, boom, ba, bum. Space tunnel, space tum tum tum, space tum tum. Which hand it is. Let me look again. No, he was not doing a part. He was soloing. We were playing the parts. why the hands go where they go. This is why the hands go where they go. I understand. This is why you play something two hands, then one, then alternate, because it has to do with where it fits around in the overall. Okay, I forgot to turn on my mosquito coil, so I'm going to do that now. I'm going to take a little pause. I'm going to have a little more fungo. See you in a bit.